YouTube! So in case you're wondering what I've been doing lately, I am making these swatch sticks and I've done around 200 now so I still have 300 to go so it's going to take me a while and when I'm finished and not going totally crazy I will probably show you uh, the finished result I'm going to use these um, because I have many polishes that I totally forgot about because they're in drawers um, so this way I want to remember which polishes I have, which colors and also I can use this to combine uh, colors for new manicures. So today I'm going to show you the caviar manicure and I'm going to use these beads from uh, Layla but you can also use these uh, beads um, from eBay or Born Pretty store or any other store that sells these. Um, these are really cheap and you get many colors for like three dollars or something um, these are more expensive um, you don't need expensive uh, beads um, to get a good result so if you want to try it to see if you like it I will suggest um, buying these first um, so you can try them and if you don't like it then you didn't spend that much money on it so that's um, of course better and I'm using this polish. This is China Glaze and Toxic Encounter and um, As you can see it's also matching my outfit a bit, little bit and remember this video because my outfits never match my uh, nail polish um, So this is probably the one and only time uh, it will happen And of course you need a top coat and it doesn't matter which one so just use your own and that's it So let's take a look at the tutorial so the first step is to prepare the nail and of course first you apply your base coat and then you apply the polish that you like. You can use any polish and form any brand, uh, it doesn't matter. Um, just make sure that you use a polish that matches the beads because um, you will still see some of the polish when you apply the beads. Um, also apply one coat, let it dry and then wait. Because now I'm going to apply the second coat and while that coat is still wet I'm going to apply the beads. Now I'm going to press the beads a little bit into the polish so I know the beads will last longer on the nail. I'm going to remove the excess beads from the side of my nail with my wooden stick. Apply some top coat at the end of your nail to make the beads last longer. If you want you can apply top coat all over the nail, but I suggest um, applying some beads on a piece of paper, then apply the top coat and wait to see if they change color. Because some beads will change their color or even lose their color and turn silver. So. Um, try it first um, before trying it on your nail because otherwise you can ruin your manicure. So as you can see it's quite a messy job so make sure that you have something underneath your nail. I'm using a plastic bowl but you can use anything you want as long as the beads don't um, spread around and flying all through your uh, living room. Um, this way you can also easily put them back. So some brands give you this one to put the beads back, um, but if you don't have it, you can just use a piece of paper, it's very easy. So this is the result and I really hope you like it. It always takes me some time to get used to some beads on my nails, but in the end I always love the result. So that's all you need to do and remember you don't need to use the expensive brands. You can just use the one from eBay or Born Pretty Store or any other store that sells, you know, art supplies really cheap. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you next time. Bye bye!